Another one, Paul here. Today, I'm going to be talking about a strategy. This one is going over... Uh, it's basically the rainbow strategy. And if you guys have seen... Uh, I've talked about it in another video uh, where I've gone over setting it up. But I'm not, not talking about the... the the uh, video where I talked about the uh, the rainbow strategy. This one has, is the one based off of the Ghost Market Pro. There's more uh, moving averages involved here. So now you can do either one, but I find that this one has, you really see a lot more patterns. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with crypto and how to basically take all, all you have on your chart is uh, these moving, uh, this this rainbow strategy that uh, is from Ghost Market Pro. I'll show you how to set it up with or without Ghost Market Pro, but um, but I'm gonna show you how to just use these, uh, just use the uh, Ghost Market Pro, the swing as they call it. And it has more moving averages to the rainbow strategy, but to me that it, it gives more data. So I'm gonna show you how to set it all up, and you know how to set it up if you want to get Ghost Market Pro, which is what I recommend. Uh, but I can show you a, a technique to do it without it if you don't want to get Ghost Market Pro. It is gonna, it'll cost more on Trading View because you will have to upgrade your membership because you will need, I think you will need about 20 indicators or something like that to. So you'll you'll need to upgrade your Trading View. Membership if you want to do it uh, If you don't want to get ghost marker pro, but if you do want to get ghost marker pro, it's a little bit easier You just need one indicator But anyway, I'm gonna show you how to set it up and then what to look for and find the patterns in crypto today on you know how to benefit it and you know what to look for uh, with the looking at the, uh, the the ghost market pro swing which is Technically, it's the rainbow strategy, but uh, I'll show you how to set it up and what to look for and to find your signals for your trades in crypto. Okay, so to basically set this up, you see that I have one indicator on here, and that is the Ghost Market Pro. Now, if you want to get Ghost Market Pro, I'll put a link below. I definitely recommend. Uh, I, re I talk about them a lot, and I recommend them. Okay, so this is the website for ghost market pro i'm not affiliated with them but i do talk about them a lot and i, I recommend them uh, for their indicators now it, it's got a lot of stuff that i talk about mainly what i talk about when ghost market pro i talk about the cloud and the swing those those are the ones i use the most so if you guys want to get this you, you want to basically get it with the the cloud and the swing and the signal so basically you have to contact them and you send them you send them the you send them crypto and they'll, they'll set you up but basically if you guys want to get this if you want to get this one this is the website so so anyway so if you want to get ghost market pro ghost market pro but i basically use it for the swing and basically what the swing does is we'll go here to settings and you see, all the swing really is, is it's moving averages combined, it's color-coded, and it's basically the moving averages of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, and 95. So 90 and 95 are the big ones. Uh, you would have to make those a little bit more thick if you're doing this without Ghost Market Pro. But basically, the important ones through here is the five and the ninety ninety five. Those are the most important ones. But it, you you really need all of it to really see the full picture. So this is nineteen indicators. This is nineteen moving averages. So if you don't want Ghost Market Pro, you're going to have to set it up to have at least twenty. 20 indicators set up so that's an upgrade on your trading view membership so if you don't want ghost market pro the only way this is going to work is for a setup of 20 indicators there are workarounds and you can do it now 
reason it's 20 indicators if you don't want ghost marker pro you're going to have to go to your cm you go to your cm ema trim bars and you're going to hit that 20 times and you're going to input those numbers you're going to put 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 and 95 you you do that with the cm ema trim bars and it'll look exactly like this so those are the only two routes to go for this strategy. The only other route would be doing it with three smooth moving averages, but it will not be color coded. And the whole point of this is to see when when the lines are, are changing. So enough on that. I kind of want to go over the strategy on what to look for with just looking at the swing. So what what I really focus on is the longer time frames with this. And what you want to really, really pay attention to is I just hide the I just hide the candles because it's a lot more clear to see now with this right now what we can tell with Bitcoin what direction is it going we can just evaluate what's going on here on the hour what is currently going on with Bitcoin the the downtrend on the hour started right here when it went from a dark red to a light red. So this was the start of the downtrend right here. So what you really want to do is we want to zoom in closer here. And we want to pay attention to the five. The five moving average. So that is this one. You can barely see it, but it's right here. This is your five. And if you notice that the five starts up here and it comes down... And it crosses. And this is your 5 right here. So what you want to do is you want to pay attention to what the 5 moving average is doing. And when your 5 crosses, that's when you really basically enter your trade. So you see that the 5 has crossed right here. And this is basically when you would enter your trade on the hour. So... If you came in right here and you notice that, you know, the 5 is below and it, as long as you follow your 5, you would be in profit. So let's just see, right at this moment when it went down, you see your 5 is basically right here, but you can't see it. And you just ride this down and you'll be in profit. You'll be in profit if you did a sell. So let's real quickly look at the five let's turn off the candles now the five you can see is right here <clears throat> now you see that it's crossing up here now real quickly i'm just going to make the five a little bit more thick just so you guys see it better okay so it should it should stand out a bit more so that was the downtrend, and you see the five down here, and you see it. You see it right here. It starts. It starts to cross. So from this point on, you see all the moving averages start to light up. So from this point on, right here would be the point when you enter your trade, and you basically just ride it out. So as long as you follow the five, and the five is still. You can basically follow the five all the way up until up until it starts crossing back down again. So this whole area right here is profit. You see the five is crossing right around here, and you can ride it all the way up to right about here. So if I turn the candles back on, you can see that this is all profit. It crosses right about here, and you ride it out all the way up here to the top. Which is right about here, and you'll be in some pretty nice profit. It took four or five days for that. Now, the only thing about this that is that won't work is when everything is consolidating, and you can basically put on your consolidation indicator if you want. Those are definitely times not to enter, and you can, you can really see consolidation zones. So let's look at just a couple more examples. You see the five right here. You see it come up right here. You see it cross down. This would be a small trade. You probably wouldn't make a lot in that trade. Let's just measure it real quick. Yeah, this is more, it starts going sideways at this point. So this, 
uh, make sure you check your consolidation zones because that is just a consolidation period right there. It wouldn't have worked in that scenario. But right here, you see, let's turn off the candles. If you turn off the candles, you see the five and it crosses through right here. So this is where you would enter your trade. And you would basically come in at this point right here. You would wait for it to cross right here. You would wait for everything to turn into a light green and you would turn and get into your trade and ride it out to here. And you would be in profit right here. So you see the five, I turn the candles off. It works better for you turn the candles off and see it here but you see the five starts here at the top and then it crosses down this is your point of getting in your trade for a small one and then you can ride it out from here to here and yeah you're basically in profit so this works on the hour it works better on the longer time frame the smallest i would go would be a 15 minute and because, because of this, you'll just see this happen briefly. You won't get those big, big gains by looking at it on the 15, but it works the same way. If you turn off the candles here and you see all those moments, you can see where the five is kind of moving. You see crossing down here, there's a move right there. It crosses up here for a small one, but I, that's why I recommend here doing on a on a smaller time frame you see a good scalp right here right here you see it all crossing everything's lighting up and then it goes up right here this is a this is a good trade right here from here to here but i personally like doing this on a smaller time frame i mean i mean in a larger time frame so let's real quickly look at a longer one let's look at the day so if you could find this on the day you'll potentially make a lot here because it really gives away the good moments to get in and you you could see it you see the five is crossing right about here you see everything lighting up and you could ride it basically from you can ride it from here to down here right about here that's when it crosses to down here in the bottom and you could have made a lot of decent profit right there and it goes back up but you're, you're still in profit from if you wrote it out to where it is right now you'd still be in profit so if you do it on the day just know that you will have to wait longer for it to cross you see it happen again you see the five right here so this is when you enter this is also when everything turns into a light green and you can write it out from here to here and this you you'll be in some profit here. Uh, this took 12 days. And then we got another moment right here. We see it crossing right about here. You can't really see it, but if you write it down till here to here, you'd be in some pretty good profit right there. So this works better on the longer time frames because it really can pick up on uh, when the market is shifting direction. So you basically want to get in on the moments where the market's changing direction basically you can only find that really on the hour chart and longer time frames uh so so if you don't want to get the ghost market pro the only alternative to doing this strategy is doing cmema trend bars and you you would have to load 20 moving averages and once again those moving averages are 5 10 15 20 25 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, and 90, 95, but 90, 95, I would make more thick because it's the lines you got to look for. And what you basically want to look for for this strategy is you want to look at your longer time frame and you want to look for your five going through the 90, 95. And you know, basically you use all the rest of the moving averages to see if everything is going going straight in, in a straight direction. So if it's doing that, then you have a pretty good idea that it's a long trade, that's a good trade. And just by using these moving averages, this uh, the swing strategy with you know Ghost Market Pro, uh, it's basically an upgraded version of the rainbow strategy. But it works really well.
So anyway, if you guys like this strategy, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in future videos.